Paris, a love story is, first of all, a love story. It's hard to write about Paris and not write about love, but as it happens, I've fallen in love several times in Paris, first of all, with Paris as a young girl, as a student, where I was uh, living by myself for the first time in my life. Later, I came back uh, as a foreign correspondent for ABC News, met and fell in love with Peter Jennings, whom I married and who became the father of my children. It's also where I met Richard Holbrook, the man I was married to until his very sudden and very unexpected death. The sudden death of someone that, that you deeply love, my husband in this case, uh, has made me so want to hold on to life, really propelled me to go back to Paris and to try to find myself. One of the things that um, that pushed me to, to write this book was a note I got from Joan Didion, the great, the great writer who has written so movingly about her husband's death. She wrote me a, a note shortly after Richard died and said, I woke up this morning and I thought about you and all the mornings that you will wake up without Richard. And it was a beautiful note, but it was such a sad one too. And I just decided I don't want to wake up every morning for the rest of my life and feel sad. And since I'm a reporter by training, I was a ABC correspondent as well as an NPR correspondent, it's um, in some ways a reporter's book too because uh, it's based on, uh, on a lot of documents. That is to say, a journal that I started keeping uh, the, from the day that Richard died, and also letters between Richard and me. I discovered letters that I had written from Paris to my parents when I was 18 years old, and that brought back the young me. So that forms one part of the book, and then there are the letters between my former husband Peter Jennings and me, which capture our, our very uh, turbulent, passionate, tempestuous, uh, courtship, romance, marriage. I hope that, that it's also an inspirational book, that uh, other women, young women who are just starting out in life, as well as uh, women of my generation, will draw comfort and, and sustenance and, and, and maybe even inspiration about how, you know, you just have to keep surfing through that that pain and, uh, and not give in to the sadness.